Welcome back. It was a moment a local boy will never forget. A reunion with his military dad for the first time in nearly a year. Yeah, and the best part of it all, it was a surprise. Fox 29 photojournalist Bill Rohr has the story from Berks County. One by one, the students at Owatton Creek Elementary got in place for their outdoor patriotic pep rally. The excitement felt with every wiggle. Flags, first responders, and music everywhere you look. But I'm going to let you in on a little secret. This is six-year-old Caleb Landek, and he is in for a big surprise. You see, his dad, Sergeant First Class Michael Landek, is a 23-year veteran of the United States Army National Guard. That's him right there. And Caleb is about to see his dad for the first time in 11 months. No idea I was coming home today. Really? He knew I was in the States, uh, down at Fort Hood, but he had no idea uh, that I was coming home today. Michael completed five tours in Bosnia, Iraq and Kuwait twice, where he received a meritorious service medal during his most recent deployment. His wife, Samantha, and their neighbor came up with a plan to honor Michael at the school. He's done a lot for our country, and I knew this was it. So it was like, either go big or ho go home. Walking up as a dad to greet your son with an American flag, I know it's pretty emotional to talk about. It was. Not much said during their long embrace. This is the moment we've all been waiting for. I mean, it was... You never know how you're going to react in that moment. It was a lot of different mixed emotions, but, you know, happiness and excitement takes them all over. 11 months without that is pretty tough. But this was Michael's last tour. He is retiring from the military and plans to pursue a career in woodworking. Caleb and his younger brother, Emmett, can't wait to get that home. Well, tonight they've been wanting to rough house around and wrestle, so that's what, that's what he's been asking me to do the whole time. Sounds like the best kind of night. In Berks County, Bill Rohr, Fox 29 News.